Welcome home, Bitcoin true seekers. It is Monday, April 13th, 2020. It's 806 AM here in the Arizona desert. All right, let's look at the big picture real quick today since it's Monday. Bitcoin down 3.9%, but it is at 6,717. I like that because it has been ranging between 6,600 and 6,800, where it has a lot of previous support and resistance in the charts and a lot of EPVR buy sell volume. Looking at the dollar today, green day, still looking all right. Gold, it continues a nice, beautiful upwards channel with a green day today. Gold looking good, stronger than the dollar, I would say, this morning. All right, looking at the Dow Jones Industrial Average, the S&P and the Russell 2000 all have positive MACDs on the daily. All have a green, I'll have a red candle today, all below the 200 moving average, so they're all still shaky. We'll have to see how today turns out. At least we did not open with plummeting red candles this morning, as some did expect. So. We shall see today, they could go either way. Looking at the world indices, America's are red today, and then again, the rest of the world has a mix of green and red, not looking as bad as it has been for sure. Tether into Bitcoin last 24 hours, $6 billion. That's pretty nice to see. Uh, volume last 24 hours, $1.2 billion. I'll take it, not bad at all. Uh, half that on Binance and Kraken and Coinbase definitely showing up for work also. This is the first time uh, recently I think that I've seen Kraken be number two. Usually it's been uh, Coinbase, so interesting, something to note. All right, blockchain whispers, they say that the market is indecisive. I don't necessarily agree. Let's refresh this. Sorry, it's a little slow. Come on, blockchain whispers. All right, we'll come back to blockchain whispers. I wanted to talk about this really briefly, the halving. Look. I don't know what's going to happen on the halving, but what we do know during the Bitcoin halving is it's going to cost more to make Bitcoin. It's going to be about half as much produced. How's that going to affect the price? I think it's going to pump it, right? But nobody knows. There's so much conjecture. We always want to compare the future to the past. I don't really care what happened in previous uh, halvings. It's nice to note, but this is a brave new world. We shall see what happens. Keep an eye on the halving as we get closer to it. Um, I don't think it's going to be something that is a non-event, at least, to say the very, very least. So, while the whales are playing their games, let's keep that in mind, and we'll talk about that more as we go. So, I do not think the sentiment is indecisive at all. I have found that Binance is the most accurate sentiment for Bitcoin. Longs 34%, shorts 66%, so it's not indecisive. Uh, basically, uh, the sentiment is short. Um, this is where the big money is, this is where the big longs and shorts happen, and I find that Binance reflects the overall w which way things are going. But with that said, that is a lot of shorts, and this recent dump we had over the weekend was definitely bear. Um, it was bearish, of course, but also definitely whale manipulation. So, just like the whales can dump it, they can pump it. This is a lot of shorts on Binance, and if you ask me, when you get too many shorts, you know what happens. Shorts get wrecked. So. As we move forward, the, the whales are going to be playing their games. Liquidity for Bitcoin is going to go down as we hit the halving. So, something to keep in mind. I'm not sure if they'll be able to play the same games they could after this, recent, after this halving coming up. So with that said, be careful with your sats. Don't let the, uh, the whales get them. On the daily, we're below the 200 moving average. That's not too wonderful. The uh, daily MACD, the tangent is negative. I'm watching that. I might move some of my stash to uh, uh, Tether if it looks like we're definitely going to have a negative cross because a lot of people do trade in and out of Bitcoin on the daily. And a negative MACD on the daily is definitely a negative sentiment for sure. But we are within this range right here between uh, 6,600 and 6,800. We do have a lot of buy, a previous uh, support and resistance in the chart there. And let's continue looking at that. Also, I would keep an eye on this daily MACD. Watch which way that tangent goes. If it looks like we're definitely gonna cross, just take note. Four hour, all right. Look at this uh, 66 to 6,800 support, previous support and resistance in the chart. It's very, very strong here in the four hour. We are still above the 200 moving average. And look at the buy sell volume and BPVR. It is rocking. So we are in a place where we have a lot of support. If we did dump, once again, probably around the 6,200 level. But we are. this is where we have a lot of support resistance in the chart and a lot of buy sell volume. I really think we are in a, I'm going to call it a safe place between 66 and 6,800. We very well might range there until whales push it one direction or the other. Looking at the two hour, we have a negative MACD. 
But the 2-hour MACD I find is definitely a way to find immediate sentiment for Bitcoin. If you look, the tangent of the MACD has turned positive. The SAR indicator is not bad. It's definitely been showing a lot of negative. Uh, anyway, it looks to me like we might be seeing a bounce now. Here's the 66, here's the 6800, so we're right in that range there in this box. We're playing around there, we're working on getting above that 200 moving average on the two hour chart. The MACD seems to have a positive tangent. I'm just not concerned about this recent, these recent two dumps. Well, a dump and then a pump. So look at that. If you look at this, we have, what do we got here? A perfect Bart Simpson pattern. That's how the whales get your Bitcoin. And you know, I can't see the future, of course, but it would not surprise me if we're going to see another one pretty soon. Uh, I, I really think that's very, very likely, especially when you look at all these shorts. They're going to get their asses wrecked. That's silly to jump in that party right now, if you ask me. With that said, let's look at the two, once again the two hour. Watch this MACD to continue negative. Watch this start to turn positive. Watch us to get above this 200 moving average at around 67.59 or 67.60. Or 67 above that 200 moving average on the uh, two hour chart is going to definitely be some confidence. And if we get above 6,800, boom, I think we'll be back above quite quickly this 200 moving average. Now, and that, once again, that was, uh, yeah, 6,800. So 200, mag 200 moving average on two hours, 6,759. And uh, of course, 6,800 is this range we've been playing in. If we get above that and make it support again, here's the uh, 66 and 6,800 on the 45-minute uh, chart. As you can see, we're ranging there. When we had our recent pump, we got above the moving average. That was wonderful. There was all this beautiful confidence. Long started happening, and then boom, they got wrecked. Well, you know who's going to get wrecked next? Shorts. I think as we approach this day, where is it at here? Um, let me find that thing again. Where'd it go? I know I got it somewhere. Right here. Yes. As we approach this day, whales want your Bitcoins. I do think the liquidity is going to be just a wild prediction, but I think liquidity is not going to be so great that whales can play the games they have played. Just conjecture. That's what everybody's doing. They're guessing. With that said, watch for lots of these Mac, watch for lots of these Bart Simpson patterns that are going to be getting people's Bitcoin because the whales want it because liquidity is about to take a hit. I think. With that said, the binary indicator here, a very good indicator. You can find it on TradingView. I link to it in the show notes. The SMU binary decimal candles. It's crazy how it works, but basically positive momentum, negative momentum. So we are very indecisive right now. And if we look at the directional index, we are definitely in the red, but. It's about time we turn around. So if we get above 6,800, then it will not surprise me if we get right back above 7,000 easily and make support above this 10 moving average. We shall see. If you ask me personally, <clears throat> not financial advice, of course, I cannot give you that and I wouldn't, but I can tell you what I'm doing. I'm just getting ready for the next Bart Simpson pattern. If we did dump below 6,600 and it looked like that was going to be a trend that continued, I probably would move some of my huddle over to Tether and weather that storm. Hey, I'm glad you're here for the peaceful revolution. It matters. It's Monday. We're all back to work. The world is crazy. But one thing I do find confidence in is Bitcoin. It is way more important than the daily price action. I want to believe and I do believe um, it's a beautiful thing. Thanks for being part of the peaceful revolution as always. Hey guys, it is Monday. Remember, obstacles can't stop you. Weather can't stop you. Heartbreak can't stop you. Failure can't stop you. Only you can stop you. I'll see you again tomorrow.